Hello sports fans. I got another good one for you today. Today we're going to do computer baseball Stratomatic. The Mets at the Yankees in Yankee Stadium using the 2019 teams in a similar fashion to the way that I recently did the White Sox versus the Cubs and if you missed that game you should go back and check that out. But right now let's get ready for the Mets at the Yankees right after the intro. steamrollers. It's been erased like a blackboard, rebuilt and erased again. But baseball has marked the time. Hello sports fans, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and if you recall, I have recently played a Stratomatic computer baseball game between the Chicago White Sox and the Crosstown Chicago Cubs using the Stratomatic, um, the new Stratomatic game, the 2019 um, teams and the 20, 2020 game version. So today I'm going to do something in that same vein. I'm going to do a New York Crosstown rivalry between the Mets and the Yankees and I will manage the Mets and uh, the computer will take the Yankees. We're using the DH rule because uh, the Yankees will be the home team, so it'll be in Yankee Stadium. And I am using the suggested uh, lineup for the Mets, um, not changing it. Um, and the pitching matchup will be DeGrom against J.A. Happ. So, without further ado, let's get on with it. And I'm going to turn the sound down. So there we go. And uh, so you can see the field. I've eliminated the player uh, photos um, because I wanted to. Um, I'll put my, let's see, where should I put my face here? Guess I can do that. So I'm not too much in the way there. So we will get on with the game. McNeil is being shifted against. I'm going to swing away with McNeil. And he's out. And I'm going to swing away with J.D. Davis. Oh, there's J.D. Davis. Oh, all right. They're the player pitchers. I thought they were eliminated. Hmm. All right, cool. Uh, all right, and then Pete Alonzo. And swing away. And he's going to strike out. All right. Well, now they're gone again. I don't know. They're in, they're out, whatever. So uh, now DeGrom is pitching to LeMahieu. And that's going to be a strikeout. And uh, the uh, Joe, or not Joe Judge, um, Aaron Judge is going to be out. And that brings up Luke Voigt. And he will strike out. So now we have Wilson Ramos coming up for the Mets. And he's going to ground out to short. Well, it's going to be a ground ball X. Let's see if it's an error. And he is out. And that brings up Michael Conforto. And he'll swing away. I like this view, though, because the field is so much bigger and the names are bigger. So. And then uh, Todd Frazier is up. The Todd father. 
We'll swing away with him. And he's going to ground out to second. And look, well, ground ball to second, and we'll see if it's an error. And he is on. So that was either, what was that, a hitter? And I don't know. Uh, and then there's a walk, a walk to Rosario. So the Mets got a little bit of a threat going here in the second inning. Two runners on with two out, and Lagares up. And he is going to get a single one and five. But that's a line out, really. And that'll be it for the Mets. And uh, so we go to the bottom of the second inning with the Yankees coming up. Gary Sanchez up at the plate, and he strikes out. And then uh, Edwin Encarnacion strikes out. And then uh, Didi Gregorius, and he is going to strike out. There's a lot of strikeouts in this game. I don't even know what DeGrom's up to now, but it's a lot. I just know it's a lot. Robinson Cano coming up for the Mets in the top of the third. Swing away. And he walks. And uh, Jeff McNeil's back up. And he's going to get a home run one to three, and that's going to be a double. Let's see if they let us send Cano or even give us the option. And it's 50%, so I'm just going to hold because there's no outs. And that brings up J.D. Davis. And he's going to get a double one to ten. So he's going shopping at the Gap. And that is going to knock in two runs. And J.D. Davis at second with Pete Alonzo up. The very exciting Pete Alonzo walks. That's not the exciting result everybody wanted to see. Or at least the Mets fans wanted to see. Wilson Ramos is up. And he is going to single one asterisk. So the bases are loaded here. J.A. Happ is just getting his uh, half-assed to him. So, uh, let's see. Conforto is up. We'll let him swing away. I'm a big swing away guy. I don't do bunting and all that kind of stuff. But he gets a single on his own. I am not going to send the runner because it's only a 40% chance. So, we're going to keep the... Uh, uh, as uh, as uh, Appa Brian would say, we're trying to... Uh, Frazier's going to try to put a nickel in the... Uh, uh, carousel and keep it going. So I don't know what happened there. Oh, they brought in her or Garen. They brought in Garen to pitch. Okay, and that's going to be a home run, one to nine, and it's going to be a home run for the Todd Father. He put more than a quarter into the uh, or a nickel or whatever into the uh, merry-go-round. So now it is seven nothing New York Mets. That's crazy good. And then there's a walk by Rosario. We're just man, hit parade just keeps coming. There's no out yet. And then Lagares comes up for the Mets. So he gets a single one to eighteen, and it is going to be a single. Make no mistake. So I'm going to send the runner just because you know we're playing with house money here, and he doesn't make it. It's like yes. And so now Robbie Cano steps in. And, uh, yeah, they're going to make another. Yep, Sessa. Now Sessa's in. They're going to go through this bullpen. Single one to two, and that's going to be an out. So Cano makes the first out of the inning after we lay a seven spot up. And uh, McNeil is going to home run one to ten. No, it's going to be a fly ball. But. Probably will knock in Rosario. Um, well, no. It's wait a minute. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, it will. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna hold the runner at second now. And uh, so that brings up J.D. Davis, and it is eight nothing. The Mets, and he's gonna walk. And who knew the Mets were this good? Pete Alonso is up. And he's going to jack it. Gone. So this is uh, 
Yeah, if you're a Yankees fan, I think you can, uh, well, I, I would say normally tune out, but don't. So, anyway, Wilson Ramos is up. Yeah, keep watching. You never know. And now they put a little uh, thing up there. A little infinity sign up there. <laughs> I mean, they're like, we don't even know how many runs this is going to be. Catcher's card X. Uh, okay, yeah, the Mets are in the field now, so. Talkman is up. Talkman strikes out. So there's two outs. And that Gardner is going to get a single right up the middle. The Yankees trying that big comeback. LeMay, he was up. This is weird. I can't see how many runs they actually ended up scoring. The Mets did in third because it just got a little mark up there. It doesn't have like a number. So Aaron Judge is up with two runners on and two outs, and he is going to strike out and be injured. Um, and he's going to stay in the game. So we're going to swing away with uh, Conforto. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see that? Like up there in the third inning for the Mets, it's just got like a little mark. And, you know, I guess it can't, I guess it doesn't have the ability. Maybe it was double digits and the scoreboard is so small, it doesn't have the ability to put um, double digit uh, scores up there. I don't know. So the Todd father is up with one out for the Mets in the top of the fourth, and he's going to swing away. And he strikes out. And now Rosario is up. And Rosario is going to hit a ground ball to the shortstop. It's an error or like a base hit that got by him or something. But no, it isn't. It's an out. So, uh, Voight is up against Grom in the Bottom of the fourth. And that's going to be a strikeout. And Gary Sanchez is up. And that's going to be a strikeout. Man, I tell you, DeGrom is really... I have never seen strikeouts on this kind of level. All right, I don't want to say I've never seen it. I probably have. but And can Arcione strikes out? This is, I got to check these stats with this game is over. So Ligaris steps in against Sessa, and he's going to strike out. And that's, I mean, it's an unfortunate side effect of today's game that, you know, batters strike out and they don't have enough pride to um, think that it's bad to strike out. Swings away with Cano, and that's going to be a ground ball to second base. And uh, that's an error, I think. Because, you know, the players back in the 40s and 50s would have been embarrassed to strike out even probably 80 times. And now people strike out 250 times. They don't think twice about it. So J.D. Davis is up with two on and one out. And that's going to be a ground ball to second. We'll see what happens there. And it's going to be a double play. So the Mets got nothing in the fifth, but they are still leading like something like 10 to nothing or maybe 11 to nothing. I'm not really sure because I can't see the number up there. Um, and then Glaber Torres comes up with one out. In the bottom of, what is this, the bottom of the fifth? And he strikes out. Talkman is up. Talkman is going to walk. And uh, so Brett Gardner is up against DeGrom. And uh, fly ball to center field X and Garris is two. And there's two outs. He drops it. You gotta be kidding me. 
All right, B.J. LeMay, he was up with runners at the corners and two out. And that's going to be a ground ball first base. He's there out of the inning. I think I'm going to take DeGrom out of this game after this, you know, when the uh, Mets go back in the field just so you can get a look at another Mets uh, player. And, uh, you know, it's not like they're going to lose. So, uh, yeah, strikeout for Alonzo. Sessa is just taking the team on his back now. And that brings up a uh, fly ball for Ramos to center field. Gardner's going to play that. And that, and now it's uh, up to Conforto to keep the inning going for the Mets. And he is going to ground ball to second base. And that is... And, I, and now I am going to take the Grom out of the game. We will put in Seth Lugo, maybe. Seth Lugo pitched quite a few innings this year. Yeah, we're we're gonna put in Seth Lugo. There you go. Oh, maybe when you first put in a matchup, I don't know. So anyway, ground ball to shortstop, just a matter of whether he makes it there or whatever, and he didn't. So Luke Voigt is up, and Luke Voigt with a single one to five, but no, it does not fall within that range, so he's going to line out, or pop out, or whatever. It says line out, but that really looked more like a pop out. And then Gary Sanchez comes up, and he's going to walk. And then uh, that brings up Encarnacion, the now White Sox player. And he flies, hits a fly ball to center. And will it be a, an out? And it is. So the Todd Father comes up here in the top of the seventh inning for the Mets. He's going to swing away. And he's going to pop out. I really, I wasn't thinking I shouldn't have taken the Grom out to see how, because, you know, we could have seen how many strikeouts he could get, but feel sorry for the Yankees here, kind of. I mean, still don't really like the Yankees, so, you know, how sorry can I feel for them? And then that brings up Ligaris, and Ligaris strikes out, and that'll probably end that part of the inning. And it does. And, uh, yeah, trivia answers. So we have uh, Gregorius coming up in the bottom of the seventh for the Yankees with them down something like 10 or 11 and nothing. That's all. That's going to be a fly out to Davis, who's a five. So. And then that brings up Glaber. Torres, who's going to strike out. Thought that guy was good. And now Mike Talkman. And he's going to walk. Be interesting to see, uh, although really, Stanton came down with another injury. I was going to say it would be interesting to see if Talkman makes the Yankees this year. I mean, he played well, but the Yankees have just so many good players that, it, you know, you wonder. So, Talkman's at second with Gardner up and two outs, and he's going to strike out. And now, Robinson Cano comes up in the top of the eighth against, now they've got Connolly in. And that's going to be a strikeout. And McNeil comes up. And he's swinging away, and he's going to hit the ground, hit the ball on the ground to Torres. Who makes an out. And now J.D. Davis is up. And he's going to strike out. All right, now that we're in the field, let's see if we can find a defensive replacement for Davis. Uh, well, 
Dominic Smith is really not a defensive replacement. Nimmo is, though. So Nimmo would be a defensive upgrade, so we'll put Nimmo in left field. And now it's J.D. Davis. Uh, or no, it's uh, Lugo pitching against LeMay. And that's going to be a ground ball shortstop. I guess it's at the start of the game, or like if you make a change, it'll bring up the pitcher, the photos of the players. Aaron Judge is up, and there's one out. And he's going to hit a home run. No, he's not. He's going to hit a triple. Judge can move for a big man. You got to know that. No, it's history. How did he hit a home run? It was a 19. You know, maybe I read it wrong. All right, so he got a home run on that. So Luke Voigt is up, and the Yankees are on the board with a judge home run, and that's going to be a hit by pitch plus injury. And Batter may have gotten hurt. He's just shaking up. So Voigt will go down to first, and then Sanchez is up. And he hits the ball on the ground, ground ball B, which will be a second out. And now Encarnacion is up, and he hits the ball on the ground. It would have been a double play if there had only been one out, but there was already two, so that's it. And Alonzo in the top of the ninth. Everybody wants to see Alonzo go deep at least once, and it does not happen. And Ramos is up, and he's hitting a single. And that brings up Michael Conforto. And Conforto hits a single one to two, but does not get it. So that's going to be a line out. And that really was a line out. And now the Todd father, Todd Frazier, striking out. And the Mets are done in the ninth. And that will probably be it because I don't think the Yankees are going to get 11 runs right here. But Gregorius is up. He hits a single one to two, but it's really going to be a line out. And that brings up Glaber Torres, and he's going to hit a ground ball to the pitcher, which is going to be an out. And now there's two down, and Talkman up. And that's going to be it. Talkman's going to strike out. So let's see what happened here. i got to see how many strikeouts uh, dude had. Let's see. Get the box score, definitely. So now I'm going to move my photo over to the, my little, hello, move that over to the side and let's see what we got here. Okay, it was 11 runs, so the Mets won 11 to 1, and DeGrom in five innings struck out 12. Yeah, I definitely should have let him keep going. He gave up three hits and struck out 12. My. My, my, my. So I hope you uh, enjoyed that uh, game. But uh, for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, that's going to be it. And I'm signing off.